December 31st, 2020. Dear Tati, you died on a Wednesday. I'm sure you'd make some joke about not making it over the hump, regardless that it's in poor taste and there are those of us truly grieving your death. The day before you died, you texted me that you hadn't touched another person in almost a year because of the virus. Two of my greatest regrets are that I couldn't attend your funeral due to the regulations and that I couldn't hug you before you died. Even before, you hugged your friends like it was the last time you'd ever be held. I hope you weren't alone when you died. That someone had the temerity to hold you before you passed. I hope you know how much you were loved. How much you'll be missed. Finally, selfishly, I hope that you're wrong about there not being a god. Because my only relief from this unending grief is the thought of you in a better place. If anyone deserved some form of peace, it's Tatiana and Elise Godfrey. All my love, Elliot. Hey, Tati. Sorry it took me so long to get here. They weren't allowing more than 10 people to gather for your funeral. Otherwise, I would have said goodbye then. I heard it was lovely. As lovely as uh, funerals ever are. <laughs> uh, I wrote you a letter. I suppose it's more, um, it's more writing myself a letter, but if you could, uh, if you could read it, um, you would, you would know how much I love you and how much I miss you. <laughs> I wish everyone really misses you. Kirk said uh, he got some flowers and he's uh, going to be by tomorrow. So that's something to look forward to. And good riddance. May 2021 be literally in any way better than 2020. Here, here. So, do you want to share your New Year's resolutions? Yes. This is the diet year. But for real this time. 
So six times the charm. Well, that's what they say. <laughs> I think my resolution for myself is to maintain reasonable expectations about what I and others can actually accomplish in this world of Zoom. Oh, yeah, that is a good resolution. Yep, I think I'm gonna steal it. Sounds a lot better than diet and exercise. <laughs> wow, it took you less than a minute to abandon that diet. That has to be a New Year's resolution record. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it, Aiden. <laughs> what about you, Elliot? Any resolutions? Uh, yeah. Um, I want to actually tell the people I love that I love them and make sure that I appreciate them uh, while I have them. I went to see Tati yesterday. Expecting company? It's a little late for visitors. No, I'm not expecting company. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. It was probably just some kids. Yeah, you know, new year, new tricks. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Hey, maybe I'll get a gun. I go and sit out on my lawn and uh, threaten any kid who passes by become my grandmother <laughs> yeah that sounds healthy now that is a new year's resolution threaten more children than you did in 2020 <laughs> you're here
January 23rd, 2021. Tati, what kind of fuckery is this? Am I mad? Are you responsible for this? Did you do this? There's blood on my paper, Tati. Is it yours? Elliot. I came here and started asking for help. <laughs> I came here instead of calling Aiden or Kirk or a dentist. Ugh. Sorry. Is it uh, something you attend in your county that is sort of like a carnival? No, it's not the fair. <laughs> is it a beloved singer and actress who once wondered what would happen if she could turn back town? <laughs> No, it's not Cher. <laughs> uh, is it something that's not found with frequency or in abundance? No, it's not rare. <laughs> Is it the former Prime Minister of Great Britain? No, it's not Tony Blair. Circum <laughs> Um, no, it's not a prayer. Oh. What? 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 Who is this? What? Why is that on the screen? Oh. Uh, maybe someone hacked Toddy's account and is video bombing us. Or is using her headshot as a profile picture and is video bombing us. That's shitty. Yeah. Elliot, you can boot them from the room. Oh, yeah. Um. It's, it's not working? Uh. You should be able to just click on Tatiana's name and, and, and just hit go to participants and hit remove yeah that's i that's what i'm doing it's not working um this person is typing in the chat what are they saying delexi quonium zodiac dominus vache marationis my kia inclinati what is it isn't that what you were just saying elliot when was I just saying that? When you were guessing prayer. You said the string of Latin and I was like, oh, she's guessing prayer. What is it? What does it mean? I didn't, I didn't guess prayer. That I, and I didn't speak any Latin just now. I don't know any Latin to tell you. Well, that's obviously not true. You just recited the whole thing that's in the chat there. And I'm telling you I didn't do that. All right now, what the fuck is going on? I don't know. I don't know. Tati? Tati? Is this you? And 
video conference bombing is getting more common. Yes, but why would somebody video bomb us as Tati? That's either extremely cruel or it's some sort of sign. Look, before I went to the hospital for my tooth, I came here. It was like Tati was watching me and she could see everything that was happening. And you know what they said at the hospital? That it was a hallucination? Yes, that it was a hallucination brought on by trauma. But when I got home, I found my plate covered in pretzels and blood. That wasn't any hallucination. That shit was real. And I think it's Tati trying to communicate with us or you're asking for help or- Why advice. would Tati, who is dead, BT dubs, make you hallucinate about losing a tooth and a pretzel? Number one, Tati loved pretzels and she wouldn't malign them with hallucinations of inedibility. Number two, Tati is dead and she can't create hallucinations. I entered that Latin that showed up in our chat into Google. It is a prayer. Apparently, you'd recite it to help free your dead loved ones from purgatory. Look, I think there's reason to believe that Tati is trying to send us a warning or, or ask for help. <laughs> help? Help with what? Releasing her from purgatory? <laughs> if any of this shit is real, Tatiana is not in purgatory and she is certainly not in heaven. Whoa, dude. Tati was a good person and she was a good friend. So I think if there is the slightest chance that she's trying to communicate with us, we owe it to her to figure out what she's trying to say. Okay, all right, hey, settle. I don't know what to believe here, but I can't deny that some strange shit has been happening and I don't have an explanation for it. Yeah, strange shit is happening. And our conclusion is what? Our dead friend is in hell and wants out? Get the fuck out of here. Okay, then give me some other explanation. I'm willing to concede that maybe it's just wishful thinking on my part that Tati is talking to us, but then find some other plausible reason why all of this is happening. You want a reason? The world is full of trauma, and we don't have the emotional or psychological capability of dealing with all of this death, let alone the death of someone who meant the world to us. We didn't get to go to her funeral. I found out I missed it from Instagram. Latin prayers and bloody pretzels aren't any more fucked up than the rest of this shit we're dealing with. You want to know how I know Tati isn't in hell? It's because this is hell, and Tati isn't here.